I know, I know. I've been away for far too long. Um, I think the last time you guys saw me was in January, and this is July. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm currently not in Nigeria, and um, I really want to share that experience with you guys. But before I do that, I wanted to, you know, uh, bring you up to date. Uh, where have I been uh, since January? What have I been up to? How have I been doing? That's what this video is going to be about. The last time you guys saw me was 1st of January, actually. Um, I remember that I went to a mosque event where I got to see my cousins, my cousin and her babies. So I hadn't seen my cousin. <clears throat> Yeah, since she got married, I think just like just after she got married, she traveled, and she has two beautiful, gorgeous babies, Sultan and Samira, and I got to see the two of them. I had an amazing time. I spent a lot of time with, with Sultan because it was just up and down. I was the one that was like basically ensuring that he's fine, but I enjoyed it. Such a beautiful baby boy, and then there was Samira, so gentle and uh, calm at absolutely beautiful babies and not forgetting their mother because <laughs> now she has babies and i'm gushing over them but i'm not forgetting forgetting about her um it was amazing seeing her again shout out to amina if you're watching this um i loved seeing you again and i hope i'll see you i mean soon uh yeah yeah then it was my baby brother's birthday and we went to the beach i don't remember if it was his idea to go to the beach but he had never been to the beach um as uh, i don't know what do you call like a, a seven year old i don't know what those are called adolescent is that adolescent i don't know i don't know what seven year olds are called but he he, he clocked seven this year and uh, we decided to take him to the beach had an amazing time my brother was pissed that there was a bouncing castle on the beach and i'm like i mean let children have their fun i would have gone on the bouncy castle if i was allowed to that was fun i had there was this fried rice and fried fish so one thing about me is i remember things by like the 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 experience that i have yeah so like if i go somewhere and you like i had so the experience and the food that i eat so the experience i had and the food that i ate, I mean part, some of, part of the experience is the food one of the first things that come to my mind when i remember my brother's birthday this uh january was the fried rice and fried fish that i had delicious i, I dream about it sometimes right I, but i had an amazing time um even though when we we're going our, our car stopped i think it was overheating at some point but we got there in time we had just beautiful beautiful time i'm not that much of a fan of the beach i know i live in lagos but like i can't i can't deal going like i'm not the kind of person that you find at the beach every other day maybe once in like a quarter or once in like maybe twice in a year kind of yeah that's that's my vibe that's my vibe um then another cousin visited halima uh this girl spoiled me she bought me so many things she bought me tops, she bought me um, a denim, she bought me two shoes, like the perfect sneaker and the perfect slippers, just beautiful. Ah, Alima, you like, you made my year. She got so many things for me uh, and then we went karaoke. I mean, she was around with us to go out and hang out. So we went karaoke, had an amazing time. Um, hopefully I'll be able to insert some of the clips here. Um, I'll see what I can do about that. Yeah, so I had an amazing time. It was it was a Thursday after work. I had so I went to the office, went back home, changed, then went back. Then went to the island, uh, where the karaoke was. Had we had a, we had an amazing time. We had a good time. Yeah, that 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 I have have had so many. And this is just January, and I'm just reminiscing and thinking about all the good times I've had this year. But yeah, that was January. January was. Um, then in January, I was already preparing to move. I finally moved um, out of my house to back to my home, <laughs> back to my childhood home. So I moved back to my family house in Ikorodu. This was in February. Um, I've been wanting to move 
I'd actually be wanting to get a new place, right? But with inflation and the way like things are going and my mom not being around, I just felt like if I could spend time, okay, so it was a couple of things, right? I already talked about the inflation, which like if I would, if I could, um, if I could, what's the word? If I could avoid not paying rent, I definitely would do that. So, um, I, I had all, like I said, I'd add it in mind, but I thought I was going to maybe get a place. Then I decided that, okay, I would move back to my family house, um, and then find a place. However, um, some people close to me lost their fathers last year. And, um, it just made me think my father is still around and I could go back home to live with him and spend a lot more time with him. I mean, it was, it was that wasn't a thing because before because I was staying with my mother, but then my mom traveled. So like, what's my excuse of not going back home to live with my father, you know? And that was, that, that was a major, outside of the money, like, I mean, I could easily still get a place, but that was just a thing of, okay, I'm going to move back. And so before I decided that I would move back and then maybe stay for a year, then find a place. But now I'm like, mm. I mean, especially when I then moved. <laughs> so the thing about my family house is it's my ultimate comfort zone. I feel at home. I mean, I lived there as a child. I lived there for over 12 years, I guess, even more than that, right? family like my brothers are there my father is there even if nobody's there that space feels like home at any point in time like if i even if i didn't have even if i slept in the in the, in the compound right i would still feel more comfortable than sleeping in some other places and i that mean i could testify to that because i noticed that i was sleeping better when i when i got back home i was i actually slept better i there was just this peace of mind, like I'm home, and then, <laughs> oh my goodness, my baby brother would always come up every morning whenever he's around to kiss me. Ah, do you know what? I mean, I want to say, do you know what that is? But I'm I'm sure that people that have children would know that. But it feels I always look forward to it, and to even know that this boy would check on me even when I'm not in the house, like if I don't sleep home that time that day like the next day would be like well i came to check you yesterday but you were not around this boy would come up no matter when he wakes up because like, he would wake up walk up to so i stay upstairs um he would walk up and you could you would still see that he's sleepy and i'm like oh my goodness my baby I love it. I love it i love it and then knowing that my, my father would always check up on me my brothers would check up on me I love it to have a good time. Uh, <laughs> now I'm missing everybody thinking about how much that, how much, how fun that is. And my father, there's no way you believe in my father's house and you're not getting with. My father would, he would rather say, boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I miss him so much. I miss my brothers. Now I'm missing my people so i don't miss nigeria like the country or lagos no but the people i miss them so much <laughs> yeah okay so what else happened in february yeah my friend had a baby i uh yeah had a baby we went for the baby's naming ceremony um and beautiful beautiful baby is a big boy now I mean, it's a couple of months or so. It's a big boy. Now, but I had a good time. With that. I went to my friend, Kendi, and Dotto. Beautiful time. And for some reason, I felt like... So, last year, and I, I don't know if it's still coming from the panic attack, but I've been in a weird mood um, since probably Q3 last year. And for some reason, I've still not been able to shake that off. And so I wasn't that. I mean, like right now, it's I think I still have it, but it's not as bad as it was. I couldn't, I could, I mean, I still can't place my hand on it. I still think is from the panic attack that I had, 
and like the aftermath of me thinking about it and just a lot of other things but i've been in a weird mood since q3 last year and um yeah at some point in february i decided to leave lagos i, I was just tired of lagos so i traveled to Lauren to my friend's place i had a good time um i had the opportunity of bonding better with so two of my friends live together or used to live together and so i had an amazing time bonding with one of them bonding more with one of them so we, our relationship got better i guess that's what i'm just going to say had an amazing time we had very good conversations it was just good living in lagos and just spending time in a more quiet uh, place and that vibe that Lauren gave me i'm having that vibe here now in nairobi by, by myself it's a much saner town there's not a lot of traffic the noise is not as much just having a good time and then march came and um, i moved back went back <laughs> to lagos uh feeling a little bit more energized my mental space was better i was just feeling much better like i mean it's always a good time leaving lagos to saner places and then coming back uh but yeah i had a good time so my i was i was my spirit was elevated really so what what else happened in march so i got back to lagos and um i was introduced to a new jci um organization i'm sure i've mentioned jci before but if you, if you don't but if you don't know about jci it's a youth organization uh, that i was in when i was in the university but uh, so there are like the collegiate chapters and then the city chapters. City chapters would be for those that are already out of school, but you're supposed to be within the ages of 18 to 40. Um, an amazing organization. I was really excited about joining again. Um, I even volunteered to be the director of membership, which would of course mean that I'll be dealing with humans. It was a challenge for me, right? Because I don't like people as much as the people would think that I do, but in, I love organizing and I also like to be active. And I know that with JCI, for you to get um, the rewards of being in the organization, you need to be active and just be part of the um, activities and all of that. But unfortunately for me, um, I then eventually had work at that time too was intense. And of course, my work would come before JCI because source of income, source of living, and I, I had I had a difficult time combining the two, and I was beginning to get palpitations again, and just I kind of like had a panic attack scare, and even though I used to get pan, uh, palpitations before my my panic attack, now whenever I have pan palpitations i just pause so like i pause i withdraw i like stop a lot of things that i'm doing so i had to drop out of jci continental i hope sometime in the future i'll be able to go back again but i just needed that space off because i couldn't risk having another panic attack and for me it is all or nothing go big or go home uh, if i can't give it my all i can't function properly so if like I don't, I don't know i wish i wish i really wish i could um do things like half hazardly like mm, that's not me i i those that have the ability to do that is it's good is a good thing it means that you do not have to always be 100 percent to get things on but for me if i'm not my 100 percent I just feel terrible so I, I that that was a sad thing but I needed to put my mental health first and yeah took that decision to just drop off and um they're doing well so this is just to say that if you, and so the organizer if you already know about JCI or if you didn't know I probably will put a link down uh maybe the website or something so that you can read more about JCI uh, but if you already know and um you are say currently anywhere anywhere in the world and we do not have a chapter jci continental is was set up for that for those of us that couldn't join a regular city chapter because we were probably not residents in the state of the ones i would like to join you can join from anywhere in the world a lot of the things that they do are virtual so virtual meetings and all of that so try check them out i'm sure you'd like them okay then uh so march was also my baby cousin's birthday <laughs> her first birthday and then we had a photo shoot that i was part of 
uh i did the berlin decoration it was a good time apart from the fact that babies at photo shoots I, I don't think i ever want to be counted in to things like that this girl gave us a sh she shouted us down like she was just shouting she wasn't crying i mean we could call it crying but there were no tears this girl was just shouting for hours like her mom had to take her back a couple of days later to try to get more pictures but i got i mean we had a good time i always have a good time spending time with my family with my friends with my extended family and all of that so it was a good time apart from the fact that Murewa was she wasn't having it she was not she wasn't having it but it was a good time um i had again remember i always say that I remember I said that I always remember things by the kind of like the food that I had. So for the first time, I had a sun shawarma. Uh, so it's basically your regular Nigerian shawarma, but instead of so with chicken and all of that, like regular chicken shawarma with a sun added. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic! Absolutely amazing. The only thing I did like it. The only thing, the only regret I had about that was about that particular one was that the asu wasn't as much as I would have wanted it to. So the next time I went, I got double portions of Asu. Oh, heaven, heaven. Okay, so right now, writing list of food I'm going to eat when I get back to Lagos. I'm going to put this on the list. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. <laughs> then, uh, what else happened in March? I fell ill. I can't even remember exactly what the illness was, but I fell ill. And um, I think I was off work for a day or two. I can't, this is weird how I can't remember exactly what the illness was. I know it had to do, I don't know if it was an, if it was an allergy or if it was fever, but I felt ill and I was, I, I, I remember the feeling of not feeling well. I was fatigued. Well, yeah, so just as I was getting off of that, as I was recuperating, we had my department's picnic uh, at a park in Ikeja. Had a good time. I wish I had more strength for that event, but I had a good time. And um, I lost. So, I mean, of course, now you know that I have two new piercings. I'm going to tell you more about that in next, in my like, maybe like my next video, or like a couple of videos from this one. But... I in March I was wearing a non pierced nose ring and it got lost that day. Very nice, very nice. I mean, look, I'll, I'll put pictures so that I can see how lovely I looked with the nose ring, but it got lost that day. Yeah, I mean, now I'm not going to be losing my nose rings because I can easily put the one I want in now. Um, what else did I do in March? Oh, I made vermicelli noodles, uh, or is it vermicelli? How is it pronounced? Please let me know in the comment section. Vermicelli or vermicelli noodles. Or am I even pronouncing it all wrong? Uh, I made it for the first time. Ugh, delicious. Mm. It was so good. I love food. <laughs> if you don't already know that, then you don't know me. Ah, uh, and then April came. So I'm, a, I'm an April baby. So April is always a good time for me. Uh, especially now that I'm older, when I was much younger, I'm not sure if April was that much of a good time because my mom was always forgetting my birthday. My dad was always not having a lot of money before, just like just before my birthday or our birthday because it's the day before his birthday is the day before mine. That's when my dad will not have a lot of money. But that was when I was a child. Now I can take care of myself. I had a good time. Um, so but when Feb so April started with a movie night or a movie day at the office. Uh I can't remember the movie title. I'll put it uh here now. But I have seen it before. I don't mind seeing movie multiple times. It was a good time. I had fun with my colleagues. We had popcorn and candy and a lot of things to eat and it was it's just always a good time spending time with people that I like. Yeah, so there was that. And so Murewa's photo shoot was in March. Her birthday is actually in March, but we had to do the party, uh, I think 2nd of April or so, which was the day Ramadan started. So 
went to the to another park to have a birthday good time good time i looked so good and i was wearing pink and black and the birthday girl was also wearing pink and when i carried her she put her head on, 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 on my chest ah just good times good times um and everybody was like oh my god it's so you look so good you look so good I'm like, thanks thanks very much <laughs> but i really looked good and I, yeah, I had a good time. I didn't paint my face this time around. Um, the birthday girl did. And I mean, the babies did. I think my, one of my other cousins also did. I mean, I'm going to be putting pictures randomly anyway. Had a good time. Um, again, Ramadan started. Remember that I said I, I, I've been in a weird mood since Q3 last year. So this was not my best Ramadan, to be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't my, I pulled through. In fact, one of the just before ramadan i was like oh my god how am i going to do this it was one of the probably one of the th toughest ramadan i've had if not the toughest ramadan i've had as an adult yeah it wasn't it wasn't my best so but thank god i was able to uh thank god i made it through um that and yeah looking forward to next year may allah spare our lives uh to see much and many more ramadans but yeah i had a just fairly good time it wasn't it wasn't the it wasn't the best of times and my birthday was of course in ramadan this year i got a cake from seamless hr um yeah with the fireworks and all of that i had a good time with the little called fireworks but okay, whatever that is called had a good time cutting cake um i mean of course we fasted that day yeah it was pretty much I mean, it's all, it, my birthday is always good because everybody showers you with love and wishes and someone sends me money. Um, yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> then my baby girl came to Lagos, Tomo came to Lagos, um, spent a night with her, a day and a night. I can't even remember. Yeah, she came to Lagos um i'm just saying we had a good time had a, this year has actually been really good to me um i've been intentional about like activities that i was taking people i was spending time with um yeah so tone came to lagos then i what did i do what did i do what did i do it was also so if you didn't know i had an accident in 2019 on the 29th of april so 29th of April is my birthday. Ah, sorry. 13th of April is my birthday. And I take 29th of April as my Thanksgiving. So it's just a reminder of how God loves me because the the way the accident happened, how I was re how, how I was rescued and taken to the hospital by a total stranger, it's just it just shows me how much God loves me, how I didn't I had a uh, what's it called a concussion, but like I didn't have, I could have sustained a lot more injury from that accident and I didn't. And so 29th of April also is always, um, if all the pictures I took on that day, I was just shining it. <laughs> I was just shining it up and down. But yeah, uh, it's also one of my friend's birthday on that day. And I got my birthday gift from another friend on that day. New set of um, skincare products, dang products. Um... <laughs> yeah i i had a good time i had a good time it was always there's always obviously my friends yeah and i spent time with three of them that day yes i did and i, I had a good time <laughs> and also april i started actively looking into piercing studios um I, like i said i'm always oh no not i don't know if i've told you guys before but i've always wanted a pier, um piercings multiple piercings um regular piercings and microdermas i have a collection on instagram that i saved like every time i see a person that i like or um like a studio that i would love to go and get my piercing at i save them um so i didn't get my piercings early enough because i was afraid i was i didn't trust nigerian nigerian studios because i was i didn't trust how sterile the equipment would be what the what the process would look like so but then my friend got a piercing so no not a, well, one of my friends got a piercing got multiple piercings like two two and then someone else one of, one of that friends biela got her um septum pierced i'm going to link her um youtube 
channel down below she's a she's the crochet queen of nigeria she's nigeria's crochet queen <laughs> she's my soul sister we have a lot of things in common um so she got a, a, a septum pierced and i was just like okay i mean if she can get it pierced it means that uh and then a lot more people were getting pierced so i was like okay maybe i can trust nigerian um piercing studios now because none of them complained about getting any infection or anything like that so i actively i started actively looking for piercing studios i saved a couple um, I was supposed to go with my cousin, but I said oh, I wouldn't do it during Ramadan and I would do it after Ramadan. Ramadan was going to end in May, so I was supposed to get my piercing done in May. So, May came, it was Eid. Okay, so before Eid, um, I just remember that it was my friend's birthday on the 1st of May, Taiwan Kende, and Kende's now fiancé asked that I record a video and send it to her. So Tom and I did it together um, while we were together. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, Kelly! <laughs> You've come from being a pest in GSS3 to becoming my family. And then from being Balkis' friend to my friend and my account officer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you already know how I feel about you. Yes. I love you so much and I wish you the very best in life. May God bless you. More Happy money birthday. to your account, more gigs. As well as actually your account, be sending it to me. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Insurance, Baba. Yes. <laughs> okay, now back to Eid. Uh, Eid this Eid this year was uh, I I had my cousins over I had um to see her baby or uh, uh, Yinka over for the, I think for the first time really they were staying over this is the first time Ore was actually coming to my house or my baby <laughs> so I had them over those did my makeup on Eid I had a really nice dress on check my Instagram for the real good time good times always a good time spending time with family. We had food, the fried rice, the press. So remember the fried rice I said I had in January? We got the person that made it to make us another batch. Had that. Then, yeah. it was my friend's birthday. And it was my first birthday. And then we decided to have a staycation. Basically spending a weekend at um, an apartment in Lekki had a good time we were there from friday left sunday morning always always we ate oh my wife fed us my wife fed us like we were going like there was we had too much food we had too much food but we also had a good time i started dan introduced us to lincoln lawyer and um but when i watched a couple of episodes with her we watched a couple of episodes with her then i when i went back home i watched the entire um season you should watch it, Lincoln Lawyer. It's on, it's on Netflix, by the way. Um, just before that staycation, we had a photo shoot. So Tom and I had a photo shoot for my cousin Raskat's um fashion line by Rofire. Linking in the description box below. Um, it's for so it's like modest corporate wears, right? Again, linking the pictures are on Instagram. Please patronize her. She's amazing. She's my fashion. She's, she sews basically all, all what I wear. She's good. She's amazing. Um, check her out and please buy from her. The photo shoot was a good time. I mean, that just made me realize how much. So I've been saying that I wanted it. In my head, I've been saying I would like a photo shoot. But that just reminded me of how much I really want one. Her pictures were so beautiful. Now I have a lot of pictures with Adito. So yeah. Uh good times good times then it was my friend's wedding in Kurodu. uh danny happy married life baby girl uh i went with my other friends from secondary school good time good times good times good times i had a good time and from there i had to go for a movie night at the beach so wedding was in Kurodu. i took the i took a ferry from Kurodu to cms right yeah to cms and then we had to take a ferry to takwa bay for the movie night um good time i probably would not do it again and this is why i had a good time i enjoyed myself but i like a more out loud i love a comfortable life right i i enjoyed like you know i already told you that i don't really enjoy the beach as much um but we had we were able to so the plan the point of the movie night was uh, it was like a hangout, the movie night, four different movies, 
we had tents so we slept by the beach it was good waking up by the beach but it's not something i would want to do every time but i think it's something at least you should do once had an amazing time the movies were good i think i saw two movies before i slept off um i probably would if i were to go again i probably wouldn't get a tent to sleep in because i you have your own you have your like a lounge chair that you can sit on you're supposed to be watching the videos or the movies and then you can sleep on that there are no mosquitoes by the beach anyway so i probably wouldn't get a tent but because we had a tent i had to sleep in the tent i cannot waste my money but it was a good time i met new people we had we did yoga the next morning um i mean i'm inserting in certain clips so uh and i'm going to i probably will do a reel also on instagram just to make it short maybe even a youtube short but I had an amazing time so remember that i said that um i made i made an active decision to enjoy myself to uh, people i spend time with activities i i would take so i told myself that i would at least once in a month to do something new so maybe go to a new restaurant um partake in an activity um uh yeah somewhere in all of this somewhere i don't know if i don't know what month it was but i went i went kayaking so this was my third time kayaking i went kayaking with my cousin real one um a good time he made us late don't trust people in this in this life don't trust people so they are told us um he so he was the one that did the booking and everything um they are told he had told me that he was supposed to start by three three then he said i would get there by four i got to Rewan's house by 3 30 or so this boy was eating he had i don't think he had even had his bath he was eating i was like what's going on and he said and uh, that it's like it was hot it was very sunny so i was even fine with us leaving by four but why the hell are you still eating by four we ended up getting there around six i think the event had ended they were literally going to leave in like 30 minutes but we still were able to kayak i took pictures and videos i met people um i had a nice spaghetti and um roasted turkey i always remember the food i eat to be honest i always if anything I, if I, I might not even remember the food that I met, but I remember the food that I ate. Had a good time. And um, after the kayaking, I told, I mean, because he made me miss out on... So there were games before, so as people were kayaking, there were games. And he made me miss out on that. So he um, took me to Burger King. So we so were thinking, maybe let's go, let's go to the cinema. But the movie I would have seen, he had seen it, and it didn't make sense for us to then go. So we decided to try our Burger King in VI. So first time I tried Burger King was in Yaba. And um, I thought, oh, so I spoke, one of my colleagues had to told me, oh, Burger King's burger is really nice, blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, I'll try them out. Um, I would have gone to the one in VI first, but we ended up trying the one in yaba first terrible terrible like just terrible and then we tried the one out the one in vi out and um it was just a little bit better the fries are good and that's the problem i'm like you're burger king right your burger should be better than your fries why are your fries better than your burger <laughs> that was may may ended on a very good note then came june in June, I think first thing I did in June was to bleach my hair and dye it purple. Now it has um, bled, so it's more of a, so it's brownish pink. So it's more more pink, uh, like most part of it is pink, but yeah, like uh, of course it's growing out so you can like see the black, black um, hint of my natural hair. But yeah, I dyed my hair purple. I've been wanting to dye my hair purple, but I never found a the color that I wanted. This one was even a case of let's just try it out. The person that did the bleaching and dyeing was the, I was the one that was basically telling her um, what to do. It came out beautiful. It was um, ombre, so it was very deep purple here, and then it it became lighter in the middle. Good time. I was so happy about the outcome. Um, but I then since then I've been having to moisturize my hair 
every single day because i didn't want it to break um yeah because i don't want it to break so every single day i was using mega growth living strength now and it hasn't been breaking it's as healthy as it should be oh, of course after this so i traveled here 12th of june so most of most of my the beginning of june was me preparing to travel down to nairobi so now that we are here funny thing is here yeah, i had planned that i'll be doing my makeup as i took this video but that's okay i'll do my makeup after this well now that we're here i've run you through january to june to the beginning of june at least the next video would be uh or the next videos from now will be nairobi living and how i've been um faring in nairobi what i've been up to in nairobi so please do subscribe like this video and leave a comment down below <laughs> if you haven't already subscribe i would like to have you as part of my subscribers have you as part of the family um yeah and i'll see you in my next video